which is that our Constitution, as we've talked about, is just a document. It's a promise to each other that we must enforce to protect our shared democracy. And committing ourselves to that Constitution, the rule of law, comes with real fragility. Because our Constitution commands no armies, it has no police force, all it has is very limited self-defense mechanisms that my colleague mentioned, and that is Section 3. And all Section 3 says that if you take an oath to support the Constitution and then turn around and attack the Constitution, you cannot be trusted to take an oath a second time because you've shown yourself unworthy and incapable of ensuring that we remain a nation ruled by law rather than by one man. Qualifications, by their very definition, limit who can vote or who, who can run for office. And Trump's argument that because he's popular, that should affect how we interpret Section 3 here could not be more dangerous. Jefferson Davis would have gotten a lot of popular support right after the Civil War. And the application of Section 3 is at its most urgent when a person who has desecrated their oath to the Constitution already seeks to become our commander in chief again. If we say that this conduct by this person is not enough under the Constitution, what we do is empower Trump and others to use more political violence to attack our democracy. Enforcing our Constitution enables the will of the people, and we must enforce it against unlikely candidates like Hassan and popular candidates like Trump. I'd like to reserve the rest of my time for rebuttal, but we 